Hello. So, I really love Gibbons. They are by far the best of the primates. And uh, even though they're not great apes, they are pretty fucking great apes, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, and why are they so great? Well, uh, yes, actually, because um, there is a whole lot to talk about with gibbons, because they're a very uh, distinct subsection of the primates. You know, they're very arboreal. They've got, they've got the long arms. It's such, such a cool thing about them, you know. Um, and for, for the longest time, I've had a pretty baseline understanding of them, um, but never really thought about the details and. Uh, uh, and, and all the cool things about them, and there are a lot of cool things about them. Um, so yeah, I, I just thought I'd, thought, thought I'd dive into that, because um, I love gibbons. obviously really cool about gibbons is that you know how closely related they are to humans like all apes but what's even crazier about them is that they were the first or at least one of the first of the very early divergence from the common ancestor to humans around 16.8 million years ago which you know that's, that's just crazy in terms of the many different you know species of gibbon uh, there isn't a whole lot of difference worth going over right now they're all just you know, long little dudes um, with with colour variations like 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 this guy or or this guy or one of my personal favourites this guy. However, it is worth noting the differences between almost all other gibbons and Simon gibbons because these are the Kuiper Munglies who you, you'll see them at first but you might not clock the specific differences that they have cause, but they are fairly different in a in, in a couple of ways. So, the first and most noticeable thing about Simon Gibbons is just that these guys are a big deal. You know, they're, they're loud and they're bigger than most other species of Gibbons, if not, I think, all other species of Gibbons. Coming in at around 29 to 35 inches tall and about 18 to 23 kilograms in weight. Which, in comparison to other species of Gibbons, only about 18 to 25 inches tall and 7 to 10 kilograms. You know, these are chunky boys. And apart from that, you know, they've got their little, they've got their little haircut, they've got a distinctive face, they've got their e-boy fucking middle part in little dudes, it's quite cute. Um, yeah, and then that is the, the only notable thing about them, you know, they're pretty basic other than that. Yes, okay, so Sarumangs have this cool, like, toad throat sack, which, um, practically speaking, it's for carrying their, their songs all across the jungle. I'm pretty sure you can hear it about up to two miles away, which is insane. Um, but more realistically speaking, it just makes these, like, the goofiest little dudes, which it, I can respect that, you know? And then, on the topic of their voice, shall we move on to... All gibbons use their voice very often, um, mainly to show territory, to claim it, to defend it, um, and they, they do this consistently every morning when they wake up and at various times during the day. Just generally announcing, I'm still here, you know, piss off, 
this is this is my this is my area, and like I said, gibbons have one of the loudest voices in the entire animal kingdom. You know, uh, with Simon gibbons, um, they can project their voice with their throat sacs. You know, two miles. It's, it's a large territory you can keep hold of. Other than territory, gibbons can use their voice, you know, for, for various social things, such as announcing a monogamous pair, which is something they do, very cute, warning other gibbons of danger, or just, you know, impressing lady gibbons with their songs, so they so they change and refine over time, you know, depending on the species. One thing that is especially lovely about gibbons is, like I said, they they have a monogamous pair mate. Um, which means that they mate for life. Um, and with those mates, they sing duets. Like when they sing in the morning, they sing a duet. When, they, when they're when they together, they're just generally, they're doing it as one, which is really cute. Um, yeah, and uh, the obviously the duets change uh, based on the species. Um, so, and their songs are such a distinct thing about them that um, when researchers are out, you know, trying to classify and find um, new species of gibbon, their song is one of the first things that they look for since it's so distinct between each variation. how they play off each other when they call and how they write it as they go based on what the other one sings you know they really are beautiful creatures you know so beautiful that as they swing through the trees in southern china they were called the gentlemen of the forest and, uh, with that amazing segue um So the biggest thing to know about all gibbons is that they move through the trees using a method called brachiation, which is essentially using only their arms to swing through the trees that they live in. Um, and gibbons in particular actually use brachiation more than any other primate, by 80% of all their movement. Pretty impressive. All gibbons have opposable thumbs, just like us, and some gibbons even have opposable toes, big, big toes, um, which means you know they, they can hold things and they can hold on to things. Um, with both their hands and their feet. Despite this, gibbons are still pretty adept at you know moving bipedally. Um, with, their, with their little arms, they can, they can run pretty quickly, and um, you know they, they usually uh, raise their arms up uh, to balance themselves because their arms are so lanky and they drag across the floor, <laughs> which is that's great. Their arms are actually so long and specialised that they're incapable of moving quadrupedally. All of this in mind, gibbons are regarded as some of the most agile, non-flying mammals in the entire world, able to fly through the trees and even make leaps of up to 30 feet. When you think about it, that's pretty fucking, like, 30 feet. Gibbons are incredible animals, and I really hope that I've expressed that to you in this video. You know, I, I love them with all my soul, but they are endangered, and they are critically endangered. So many unique species have already fallen to extinction and all the other variations are endangered in some way or another due to you know habitat degradation, pet trade and just um, general negligence from you know the, the the countries which house these amazing creatures. Thankfully though due to conservation efforts their wild population is stabilizing but that doesn't mean we should stop thinking about it. It doesn't mean we should stop caring about them. It doesn't mean we should stop caring for them because, you know, they need us more than we need funny Gibbon videos. And I, you can probably tell that I love funny Gibbon videos, which, yeah, they need help. <laughs> I won't pretend to know exactly how to help endangered species in the wild. So I'm not going to give you half-informed advice 
in some monkey review video, but, you know, use your common sense with, you know, common forms of helping any endangered animal, you know, you donate to whatever conservation charity, adopt a gibbon, that'd be, that would be pretty cool, I've got on my list of things to do, and just, um, you know, anything that stops the uh, destruction of natural habitats, you know, rainforests, um, that is good for everyone on Earth, not just gibbons. So, you know, if you feel compelled, that would be amazing. Anyway, not to end on a sad note, but obviously we, we can't just push under the rug all the issues and problems that these amazing creatures have and just focus on their cute and funny parts because that is damaging. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you, hope you learned something about um, Gibblers. They're very cool. Um, I, I enjoyed making it and I've, I learned quite a lot with the research for, for <laughs> the monkey review part one, Gibblers. I really enjoyed learning about our friends in the trees. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching.